good morning all <laughs> what's going on everybody welcome to another high adventure video mm. it is currently five o'clock in the morning and as you can tell from my ice fishing attire it is very cold out literally two weeks ago we were down at the coast it was 75 degrees and i was shrimping now fast forward I am trying to keep myself warm because it is 29 degrees this morning with going to be like a high of like 55. Ah, the old SS high adventure. Oh, look at that. She's got frost. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle in there. It's all frosted up. Hey, hey, hey. Look what I remember to grab. Ah. One thing I am looking forward to though is crappy fishing season, which starts now. This cold weather usually brings them around the bridges, around the brush piles. So that's one of the main reasons we're getting out today. But I have recently discovered as well that the catfishing apparently is pretty phenomenal uh, this time of year as well. So we've got some catfishing rods, we've got the crappy fishing rods, the catfish rods double as striper rods, the crappy fishing rods double as white perch rods. We kind of have just a mixture of everything. I don't know what to expect this time of year because this time last year, I still only had my kayak. So we were going out in the kayak and just hitting the spots we knew then. And add to that, I haven't been out on this lake in three months. In fact, it's been like three months to the day. I was looking at my calendar, so it's been exactly three months. Wow, three months since I fished Lake Murray. That's crazy. Enough talking about it though. Let's go ahead, get loaded up, get headed to the lake, see if we can tear it up today. Good morning, beautiful Lake Murray. Golly, I missed you. While I am not a fan of the cold, it is nice to be back in the old stomping grounds, that's for sure. So excited this year too, because now with the boat, I feel like this winter we're gonna be able to fish this lake and other lakes so much more thoroughly. Well, obviously, right? But I mean, we had pretty good success last year in the kayak, but now, I mean, be doing this boat thing, it's, it's a game changer, really. And to start the year, to start the new winter fishing season, I got myself set up with some brand new crappy fishing rod and reel combos. I'll have a link in the description to this reel. So if you guys want to go get yourself one of these, pretty slick looking little reel. Decided to get that and uh, pair it with the crappy slayer ducket fishing rod this is a five and a half foot rod so i like it a little bit a little bit uh, shorter especially for fishing around like these pilings and stuff like that that way i don't have like all these like long rods hanging out and i'm like smacking pilings and stuff just a little bit more manageable but then also got that light action here we go let's go ahead ah there she blows the well arranged crappy fishing tackle box there you go just like that check that out Tried and true, it's our true color. Sun's, well, sun's not coming up, but we're gonna go ahead and turn the boat lights off. Here's another new addition to my boat. I got a seat put up at the front because after a long day of crappy fishing, okay, first off, sitting in the seat, now I feel like one of them old fishermen now. Just like sit up here, hunkered down. <laughs> but uh, sitting up, crappy fishing and jigging, for like seven, eight hours of a day, which is not unusual for me, uh, you get really tired of standing. So I decided to go ahead and help myself out, get uh, get a seat. There's a little something down there looks like. Here's to hopefully a long and successful next really five months. From now, November, through probably about April. Is it? Got him, got him. First one of the year. First one of the year. Oh, nice crappy, nice crappy. Look at that, look at that. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. Oh man, that is awesome right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that good size crappy. That is a great way to start the 2022, 2023, crappy cold season right there that's a beautiful beautiful looking crappy beautiful looking crappy let's measure it up on our measurement board down here look at that 14 that's a 14 incher 14 inch creep crappy to start the day love 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 that boom that 
is what I'm talking about. And where you find one, you're gonna find a lot. Let's go ahead and get this on a stream and let's get back down there. I guarantee you they're schooled up. There's no doubt in my mind, we're gonna catch us a good mess of crappy this winter, right? Oh, look at that, something just hit right there. Bet you that was a striper. Bet money on it. Anyway, I, we're gonna catch us plenty of crappy this winter, right? But the goal is to get us a piggy. I'm thinking something like at least two and a half to three pounds. The state record, look at that first off. Oh man, it's been a quick minute. I think it's been, I think it's been since April since I caught a crappie. So it's been what? May, June, July, August, September, October, seven months, seven plus months since I caught the last crappie. Oh, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. But the goal this year is to get us a piggy, like a real stud crappie. I want to hook into something and be like, oh my Lord, I'm mercy. The state record is like, it's, it's, it's over five pounds. I know that here in South Carolina. So there's real possibility to really lay into a jumbo at some point. There's a hit right there. Good grief. Got him. Got him. He hit it so hard. He hit it so hard. They just threw slack and line. Oh, little one, little baby one, little baby one still. Another crappy, another crappy. We'll throw this guy back. He's a little small. He technically, I think, in uh, South Carolina, they gotta be eight inches to keep. That's probably eight inches. Oh, look at that. He's got a big old like scar on the bottom. Something's tried to take a bite out of him. I don't know, but that almost looks like like a gar. Look at the shape of that. It goes up and down, almost like the beak of a gar. I don't wonder if a gar tried to get a, get a hold of that guy. That's what it looks like to me, just the shape of that bite mark. That's crazy, you know? You survived another fish and being caught, you deserve to go free. There's one lucky little crappy right there. But guys, I'm seeing clouds of fish down here. It's a good sign. And this is just, on, this is only our first pillar too. That was a good hit right there. There he is, boom. He, again, another one just like threw, like hit it. Oh, baby, baby. The little ones are aggressive. Like they're hitting it and it's like throwing slack in the line. <sighs> little one, that one might not even be eight inches right there. Boy, this little, uh, little jig that was putting in work. There he is, another one. Good grief. Any bigger? Nah, little one again. Finding a bunch of, well, that's a little bit bigger. Not by much. Here we go. Come on. Let's cast it out. Let it drift back towards us. That's one. That's a fish. Just hammered it. This is a good fish right here. A good crappy. Oh, I snagged him. What? He swiped at it. Caught him in the gill. Still a nice crappy. There you go. <laughs> Very uh, unconventional way of catching him in the bottom of the mouth. There you go. We're breaking this rod and reel combo in, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting. Man, first crappy hunting of the year, and we're getting in on him. Now, I caught another fish off camera, so that's gonna make three. Gonna make three nice crappy. I made a classic YouTuber mistake, and uh, I turn the GoPro off. I do that periodically on and off so I don't have one long clip for editing. But look at that. That stringer looking fantastic first thing this morning. But uh, turned it on, turned it off to break my clip up and uh, forgot to turn it back on again. So let's try something else here. Ooh, look at this. It's got like some, uh, it's got some blue in it here. And that sartreuse. This minnow is just a little bit longer, maybe by like an eighth of an inch. A little bit different color. Maybe a little bit more solid color is what they're after right now. Let's drop that down to them. Here's what I'm looking at, guys, on the graph. See those right down there? See those bigger round? Those are going to be our crappy. Up there, you might have some bait fish, maybe some brim up there. See those big round chunks down there? Or even, oh, like right in there? That's our crappy, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're after. There's one. There he is. Right down there. Feels like a solid fish, too. Yeah, it feels like a solid crappy. What do we got? Oh, yeah, there's a keeper. There's a keeper. There we go. 
there we go loaded onto that that bluish color again that uh, what would you call that almost like a turquoise color actually that's exactly what you call that turquoise not a bad fish not a bad fish at all look at that we are breaking in the new rod and reel today ladies and gentlemen that's a nice little crappy i'm gonna say that's about 11 inches i would guess beautiful looking fish let's see let's see let's measure her up right here no, that's a 12 incher 12 inch crappy that's awesome boom they're liking anything basically kind of greenish and it seems like they want the solid colors so we are doing good we're doing better than good we're doing great for our first crappy fishing venture of the uh winter time here fall late fall early winter well it's been a phenomenal bite this morning at the bridge but starting to slow down which is typical when the sun starts to come out usually the crappy like that low light situation and it's bluebird conditions this afternoon so let's go ahead and make some tracks and find some different water see if we can find some crappy and maybe a little bit deeper i don't know <laughs> new spot fresh possibilities check out this dock right here right in a bunch of deep water we're sitting in 25 feet goodness let's see if we got some crappy hanging out under this guy right here marking something on the graph just gonna be a matter of if i can get him to bite or not you know i think i see some crappy on the bottom I'm gonna drop this all the way down, all the way down to 24 feet. I'm gonna reel it up just a little bit off the bottom, maybe a foot, foot or two at the most. There we go, right in the bang zone, ladies and gentlemen. I think I see some, I think I see some markers on the bottom, just right off the bottom. Dude, I think we have one. Yeah, we did. Oh, we got one, we got one. Dude, it just, it, I didn't even feel the hit. Whoa, what is this? Dude, this is crappy. This is gonna be a good crappy, I think. Oh, it is a good crappy. Oh, that's a good crappy right there. That's the biggest one of the day. Where's my net? Come on. Oh, look at that fish. Right off the bottom, yes! Just like I said, y'all. Just like I said, right off the bottom. Oh, there's a nice little pancake for you. That's a nice little pancake. Switched back to the color we started with this morning. Ooh, look at that, right in the top of the mouth. She just hit it and I didn't even know it. That is a beautiful, beautiful crappy right there. Ha <laughs> ha, little early winter crappy fishing. I suspect that's not the only one hanging out under that dock. Let's get her on a stringer and we'll see if any other piggies are hanging out down there. Let's go. Got it, right there, right under the dock. Come on. Oh, baby crappy, baby crappy. That one hit that little uh, kind of chartreuse and uh, teal colored jig. Just a babe though, just a babe, not that piggy. These are not the piggies you're looking for. There's one right there. Right there. It's a solid fish. Solid fish. Let's go. Solid crappy right there. Yeah, not a bad one. Not a bad one on that teal again. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that fish. Woo, on that teal. Beautiful looking white crappy. Boom. We're just hitting them. Our first morning out. That is a beautiful looking crappy. What I'm doing is, is I'm switching it up. So I was dropping, let me show you the color I was dropping down. Here we go, we were dropping this little color down right here. Just a simple kind of sartreuse. And then uh, we hit a few on that. Then I come back through 
with just a little bit different a little bit different a little bit bigger and a little bit different color and uh you know those crappy that maybe didn't hit that first one or maybe they hit it and i missed them you know just a little bit different presentation just a little bit of a little bit of that change up get them with that change up usually i know there's another one down there there he is got him got him just loaded on doesn't feel like a bad fish either not a bad crappie at all oh yeah big crappy oh okay biggest one of the day biggest one of the day come on come on oh net oh yes yes there's a slab there's a slab right there <laughs> that is a nice looking early winter crappy right there oh man that is ridiculous i'll bet that's a 13 14 incher let's see let's see how big we looking oh dude yeah that is like 14 and a half 14 and a half inch crappy new biggest one of the day beautiful fish beautiful beautiful fish that's gonna taste delicious now i don't bring home a ton typically so what i'll probably do is i'll probably end up setting maybe one of these smaller ones free actually what do we have right now we got five on the stringer i'll probably keep it at half a dozen because they are smaller but uh we might start calling now Woo! beautiful i told y'all there's got to be some big ones down there we're finding them under this dock there we go that's not a bad looking stringer full of crappy for our first trip out especially that one right there look at that look at that there's the big one 14 and a half inches biggest one on the day could have added a few more for sure but like i said just like to keep what i only what i can eat i think we're gonna go ahead get these guys on ice and then we might try to go do a little catfishing next let's go see if we can get some bait or maybe we'll cut one of these guys up for some bait flay them up and then uh, use some belly meat and stuff like that. But uh, let's go switch it up now on the day. See if any catfish are roaming around. Ah, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering, what are we doing back at Micah's house? Well, I'll tell you. I'm gonna hop in the SS High Adventure here. And I want you to look around and tell me what looks different about the boat. You see anything missing? Anything at all? Your best guess. Well, if you guessed the trolling motor, congratulations, you're the winner. So after the crappy fishing, I went out and tried to do some trolling. I tried some different rig setups, caught some small fish, but we really didn't score anything major. No catfish, no striper or anything. Uh, and my trolling motor started to act up. And all of a sudden I pulled into another spot to start uh, doing some catfishing and it just shut off completely. The trolling motor itself turns, it's getting power, uh, but the prop won't turn, which is exactly opposite of the problem that I had last time, about five months ago actually, um, when the prop turned, but it would not point in the direction I wanted it to. Isn't Minn Kota supposed to be like a really good brand? I'm starting to think I got a lemon at this point because this will be the third time in eight months uh, that I've had to take it into the shop. So all that to say, I'm back here. We got the trolling motor taken off the bow. We're going to re-gear back up and go right back out. And we're gonna try to see if we could chase down some early winter catfish and hopefully turn things around. Should we clean a few of these crappy bell? Oh, you brought a knife, huh? <laughs> hmm, that might, that's kind of a butter knife. I'm gonna watch how Papa does it. And then uh, you wanna come over and get one of these sides? I can help you. When you get a little bigger, I'll let you uh, learn how to do this and I'll teach you when you're- You can like get the eyes out. Well, yeah, I guess you could, but we want the meat, you nut. Hey, dude. <laughs> no, he, he won't bite you. Pretty sure this dude's biting days are over. Let's grab this. Look at that. This is dangerous already. All right, I'm gonna help you, okay? So you slide it right in like that, and you get under the scales, kind of go at an angle. Okay. You got, you got a good handle on it there, Doodly? Uh-huh. There you go. Then right towards the tail, you go ahead and go all the way through the fish like that. Cut it all the way down, there you go. 
when you come up top Damn, and you kind of cut. Mr. B, shoo, 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 shoo. He's like, um. Then you cut the meat away from the back. Then we're gonna rotate the knife in our hand like this and we'll cut upwards. There you go, what do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. And look at this, it'll all lay out. <gasps> what do you think? And then we cut the ribs out. Oh, hey, Mr. B, go. And then you just cut down the skin and the meat. Ew. Ew, uh-oh. It is a bit of a finicky process. There you go, we did it. What do you think? You cut the eye. Look at that. All right, hey, you did your first one. Good job, dude. So I actually just got off the phone with Johnny, my buddy over at We Out Chia, and he just got off the water actually and caught a mess of white perch. So I shot him a text and said, bro, um, do you mind if I steal some from you for catfish? And he said, dude, take as many as you want. So we're gonna go and meet our bait dealer and uh, go pick up some superb catfish bait. White perch to me, in my opinion anyway, is like the best catfish bait. There's a ton of bait out there. People love livers. I hate liver because it falls off the hook easily. Um, obviously you got like night crawler shrimp. Shrimp falls off the hook easily, but white perch, I don't know what it is about that bait, man, but white perch is just like mwah, catfish candy. So we're gonna go meet our buddy at the drop and uh, get some catfish bait. Making sure we weren't followed. What's up, bro? Anybody follow you here? I don't think so. You got the good stuff? Got the stuff. You got can the I, money? Can I see the product? <laughs> yeah. Got the stash. Got the stash. Oh, yeah. Keep it low. Keep it low. <laughs> Woo! Is that fresh today? Yep. Just caught. I got a sample of you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Come All right, here. I'm gonna grab my, let me grab my cooler here. Oh, that looks good right there. Sure. Awesome. That's I'll have great. my boy get with you for payment later. <laughs> uh, you keep the red boy. <laughs> Don't litter. All right, guys. Successful drop, maybe. Let's get out of here. All right, y'all, we got our bait for tomorrow. We are ready to go. That was the last piece of the puzzle. If you live in the central South Carolina area and you're looking for that good stuff for fishing, just ask for Asian Zing. But don't go looking for him. He'll find you. Uh, all right, top of the morning, everybody. It is the following morning. Look at this. It's a lot prettier today. Definitely doesn't feel as cold. In fact, sun's out. Buns probably won't be coming out. It's not quite that warm. We also got with us a few medium-sized shiners. They didn't have larges, but uh, they said they're gonna be coming in later today. So if these aren't getting anything, probably drop these down for some striper. But if they're not getting anything, we might uh, come back to the boat dock and find some of the bigger ones if they get delivered. We should be pretty well set for a good day of fishing. Let's see if the fish are cooperating today. Excited to find out. Look at that right there. There's your bait. Guarantee that's a little group of striper right there. Don't look very big. Oh, there are a couple big ones right down there. Look at that. There's a, there's a pair of good sized striper. Got some smaller ones all hanging out under those bait balls. This is a lot of striper fishermen's favorite time of year right here. There we go. Let's get it. some of our fresh bait out. Ooh, let me show you guys the rig I've got today. It's pretty cool, actually. First time ever using it, so pretty excited to give it a try. All right, so look at this. This is called a Santee rig. Basically what it is, this is a variation of a Santee rig. There are a couple different kinds that I know of, and I've never used it before. But uh, it's just a Carolina rig. Got our hook, bead, swivel. But then there's a little peg float here. There's this peg that comes out. You feed the line through this float, and then you just pay, you just slide that peg in, so then that, that little bobber basically is what it is. It doesn't slide up and down the line. But you put it about three, four inches from your hook, so then when this 
is sitting on the bottom, your bait actually floats up off the bottom. Now, I'm putting a pretty nice sized chunk on, so I'm not sure if that's actually gonna float up or not. I guess we could, we could test it out when we drop it in the water, but instead of just a regular Carolina rig where it drops and lays on the bottom like that, the idea is then your bait picks up off the bottom like this, or it'll probably be something like this, and it's suspended upwards. That way your bait's not getting like, you know, caught in any rocks or anything like that. And it just stays up off the bottom, a little bit more visible to the fish. And uh, that's what I have researched. So I'm pretty excited to give this a try, actually. Let's drop this over in the water. I wanna see if that peg is gonna float up or not. Oh yeah, dude. That peg definitely floats. So that's gonna keep that bait suspended about a foot off the bottom. Oh, that's really cool. Wow, that is really cool. So what we're gonna do, yeah, that's gonna stay a nice like foot off the bottom. Just gives your bait a little bit more opportunity. And uh, let's see, we're sitting in 28 feet of water. I'm gonna guess we're gonna go right out there with that. There we go, right in this channel. We'll give this a go and uh, see how it works. You know, if we don't get anything, I can always just go back to the tried and true cut bait on the bottom. But uh, I like trying new stuff. And sometimes you try and you fail, but then other times you try it and it's a game changer, you find out. So, Let's go this guy, right back there. There we go, there we go. Sweet, got two big chunks of cut bait set. There's plenty of stuff hitting the surface. That's like the fourth surfacing that I've seen. So let's go ahead and get one of these medium shiners. Really bummed they didn't have the big ones, but like I said, we can go back and grab some. But we're gonna drop one of these medium ones down see if we can't get a cruising striper guys it's amazing the difference between yesterday and today like like it's i've got the jacket off yesterday i don't think i took the jacket off it's uh it's definitely probably 10 12 degrees warmer today and i don't whoa something right there i think that was a striper i'm almost dead positive that was a striper right out there guys we're getting blow-ups all over behind the boat so i'm going to Try throwing a top water really quickly. I want to figure out what that is. It doesn't smile sound like small fish either. Like it's there, it's like cannonball hitting the water. There it is. Yeah, see something's out there. There's chasing. It's chasing. Let's get this spook out there. This thing cast a country mile. Holy cow. Oh, that's right. Right where I've been seeing the blow-ups. I don't work spooks very often, I'll be honest with you. Oh, there's one right there, right there. That was a striper. Oh my gosh, right there. Dude, just came up and annihilated it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. That was so cool. We were right. It's striper. That was amazing. I actually saw him come up like and swipe at it. This time of year, they gotta be 21. I doubt that's a 21 incher, but that's a good fish. Yes. Dude, that might, that's gonna be close. Ha. That was cool. That was really cool. We'll measure her up. Pretty fish, pretty fish. That's always exciting. Let's see here. Oh, you stinker, look at that. She's right at about 20 inches. Little under 20 inches, gotta be 21. Still, that was pretty cool. Beautiful fish. That was a thrill. Woo. Guys, it looks like we're getting a bite on that rod right there. Yeah, there's a bite. That's definitely a bite right there. We're getting bit. We're getting... Guys, we're getting bit on this rod right here. We're getting us a tap. Oh, there's it. Got him. Got him. He just took it. Oh, is he still on there? I feel like I'm hung up on something down there. Shoot, come on. Come on. Come on. It's like I'm hung up. Oh, come on. What's going on? There we go. Got it out. Got it out. He's on. He's on. Fish on. Yes. On our Santee rig. 
This is awesome, let's go. Doesn't feel terribly big, but it's the first catfish, feels like, the way it's rolling. There's a little run right there. What do we got? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's not a bad fish at all. Looks like a channel. Sweet. Come here, you. Come on. Yes. Yeah. All right. Woohoo. That's about an eight pounder. I'll take it. Cool, guys. We got one on the CNT rig. That is phenomenal. That's a good eating size catfish right there. Nice channel. Beautiful looking fish. Cool. Well, we got one. That's awesome to be able to try a new setup for the first time and find success. That's cool. That's cool. That's gonna go in the ice. That goes right in the cooler. Not the biggest pig of the deep, but it shows me that that rig works and that there are some catfish down there. So hopefully, at some point, we'll plug a real porker here. I think we do have something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have got a baby channel. Well, the CNT rig worked again. I was sitting there going, why is this thing dancing around? And there you go. Didn't get that big old tug I was waiting for. Look how pretty that little catfish is though. Look at those beautiful spots. Gotta be super careful with these small ones because those spikes on the side are super sharp when they're little. But that is a really pretty channel. I'm gonna drop her back in. Uh, not what I'm after, but it's a good sign. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are right at lunchtime. We have actually moved locations. We're still fishing the same channel. Uh, we've just moved maybe about a couple miles upriver. So, got a nice little point behind us here, and we are actually getting ready to cook up a little lunch on the old SS High Adventure. Check it out. I've also got with me some shrimp from the coast, fresh caught by yours truly in some of our earlier videos. I'm gonna throw that in there with our ramen, I'm thinking. We've gone ahead and added some Cajun seasoning to the water just to hopefully give our shrimp a little bit of flavor, a little kick. You know, push comes to shove, you can always try some of the shrimp as bait too. Catfish love shrimp. I just don't like using it because it's really hard to keep it on the hook. There you go. Little ocean fair out here on the freshwater. Man, that's still good. I caught this like, I don't know, a week and a half ago and it's still good. Dang. Obviously, I stuck it in the freezer. All right. Got our ramen. Freshly peeled shrimp. Cajun shrimp. I'll sprinkle that right over top. There you go. Some beef shrimp ramen. It ain't much, but it's warm and it's better than nothing. All right, y'all, check this out. I am joined by, it's Ty, correct? Yeah. Ty, I met Ty, subscriber. Uh, I met him this past summer actually out here, just a different section of the lake. You've caught a few, have you? Yeah, I've caught a couple. Nice, nice. Let's see what he's got. Oh man, yeah, you got a, you got a good looking string. Oh man, you got a big one on there. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, this this one was the first one that hit. Oh shoot, yeah, that's a big one. Oh look, oh, I just got hit on this. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> hold, good grief, that is a, that's a toad right there. That's a tank catfish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good size. Oh, that's yeah, another nice one. Oh yeah. Believe it or not, this one gave me a better fight than this guy. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, you've been cleaning up out here, it looks like. And you like to catfish like year round then? I fish year round out here. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I got something on this. If I did, it's small. Now I gotta reel it up. Oh, it swam on you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do have something on it. Hold up, hold it's, up. It's between your anchor. Yeah, yeah, let me, oh, what do I got? I think it's, a, a, it looks it, like a small. Is it a small? Striper. It is a small striper. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're bringing the good luck this way, man. I appreciate it. So now he's all tangled up. Come on this way. You got this. I know you can. Well, we'll get him out in a second. I'll get it. Ty, nice to see you again, hey, man. Nice see you That's too, man. awesome running into you out here. 
Come on. Ah, oh, thank you. There you go, guys. Ty's bringing the fish in. That's a baby. That's one of those. That hadn't been in the that's, lake very long, yeah, looks like. That's a hatchery one. Yeah, that's a hatchery one. Dude, man, you're doing a lot better than I am. I've got, I got a nice one in the cooler, but uh, I got a, a nice, as big uh, as that. Crappie, uh, two. two. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. You get those this morning. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. that's a good. Got, got about four right of these. Oh nice. Yeah. And you're loading, you're loading the kayak, guys. I'm officially getting outfished by the kayak fishermen. <laughs> that's about how it goes. Got the nice boat, the setup, and everything. And uh, Ty's just throwing it down out here. Bears, nice to see you. Thank thanks you, for stopping man. by and thanks for the tips and everything, hey, man. No problem, man. I guess, are you gonna hang out for a little bit more? Oh, I wanna hang out. All yeah. right, all right, dude, we'll keep up with you. If you load into anything big, let me know. I'll come over and I wanna check it out. All right. I'll all let right. you know too. All Well, y'all, this is us just chilling. Ties on one back there. That's that line you threw out behind my boat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, man. That's a good eater right there. Yeah. We're after the big ones. Ty and I, are, we're, we're, we're hunting down the piggy, you know what I'm saying? So that's a solid fish, good eater, good two, three pounder. But, uh, you know, we're, we're waiting for that, for that trophy size cat. Dude, you do much more of that, I'm gonna start running rings around your boat with mine. You know, we're getting a little bite on this little uh, shiner here again. Dude, a catfish came up and hit that little shiner I had suspended. <laughs> Look at that, that's probably the smallest catfish I've caught to date. That's even smaller than the one we caught earlier. What? Ty, they're getting smaller, not bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're definitely heading the wrong way. Here's some of those fresh, crappy fillets. My son helped me fillet up. Ooh, that oil does not look very hot. Oops. Well, he's in now. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. There's a big old crappy filet all fried up, dashed it with a little salt and pepper. We're just gonna eat this like finger food. Pull it off. Ooh, nice crispy. That's good. That's real good. Ty, I know you're anchored up, but do you want any fried crappy? You good for now? I, I didn't want to eat alone and not offer it to you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, man. Woo. Look at that. It's like that thin side, because I cut out the ribs, so it's like, like crispy, thin, like a chip. Mmm, you hear that crunch? Oh. That was so good. Boot snack! You guys, we're getting hit over here. Got him. I don't know. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's got me snagged. Hold up. Oh no, he busted off. Dang it. He just he just started swimming. Dang it. Man, there's some structure or something down there. Yeah. Well y'all, there goes Ty calling it a day. I'm thinking we might do the same. It's just been pretty dead, really. We had that one good bite about 30 minutes ago and he got me hung up. I could see on the bank over here, there are actually a lot of like logs and laydowns and stuff. And Ty was telling me, he said, yeah, that extends all the way out into here. So he said, there's plenty of wood and stuff, which is phenomenal, you know, for the catfishing. But then it also makes it pretty difficult when you do hook into one, they'll get you hung up in all that stuff. 
I'm honestly not unhappy with how the last two days have gone. Caught some solid crappie, caught a nice variety of fish, and from all accounts, it sounds like it's probably just gonna get better. And as we fish this more and just kind of get to know the lay of the land and as the weather starts to stabilize into this cold winter weather, the fishing should start to get a little bit better. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gear up because more fresh water content to come. Probably sprinkle a little salt water in there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.